All right, we're given a random sample of 20 people, so that's in, and the mean commute time, so X bar, 34.5. And the standard deviation, it does not say the population standard deviation. So that's the sample standard deviation. They kind of already tell you to use a T distribution, but just in case, if they don't, if you do not know the population standard deviation, then you have to use the T interval. So we have everything here that I need. So my um, T value, I'm going to have to go to a T table, and I'm looking at 19 degrees of freedom, 19 degrees of freedom, 19 right there, no, not there, there, and um, somewhere 99% area in two tails, so if it's 99% area in two tails, it'd be 0 0.01, so I'm going to use the 2.861 for my critical value. So get my pen back going here. And so I just start plugging everything in that I have now. So I have the sample mean 34.5 minus my T critical value that I just found 2.861 times the standard deviation, 7.3, 7 divided by the square root of the sample size, 20. And so this is going to be my um, interval about my mean. So I just do the same thing on this side, but plus 2.861 times 7.3 over the square root of 20. Well, I'm going to show you here in a second the lab. They actually want to see the margin of error. So that's 4.67 and some other stuff. So that's the only reason why I'm going to show this stuff. And then 34.5 plus the 4.67. And then I get my interval of 29.8 and 39.2. All right, so let me show you this in the actual lab because there's some other stuff here. So my confidence interval here, they ask for the margin of error. So even if you have a program um, that only gives you the interval, how could you just directly find the margin of error? Do you know, do you know, do you know? Couldn't you just simply take your mean minus this 29.8, and that would give you that, or your mean, the 34.5. I mean, that, that'd be the easiest way, right? So 34.5 minus the 29.8, and you'd get the 4.7. And then here it shows what this actually means. Uh, your population mean would be between these bounds of this interval. You can also do this with a calculator. So in my calculator, I can go to stat, test, T interval. This is actually stats now because I don't have data. My mean, 34.5. My standard deviation, 7.3. My sample size, 20 and 0.99. Calculate, and I get the same answers.